Well, it's, it's controversial. The question is, are you going to use some kind of antibacterial soap? It's almost hard to find a soap that doesn't have triclosan in it, which is an antibacterial agent. Is it really necessary to have it? I think that's really controversial. So I don't really think that, that we can tell you at this point if that's uh, an integral part of diabetes care. Uh, I don't have any personal strong feelings on whether you should use antibacterial soaps or not. Uh, certainly, there are many products that even don't have any soap in it at all. They're cleansers, and I actually like cleansers quite a bit. Um, there, are, there are products that uh, Neutrogena makes a cleanser, Cetaphil makes a cleanser, CeraVe makes a cleanser. Those are all really nice products. They're liquid, and you can clean your skin just fine. Um, but I really don't think I would use any products that advertise themselves as leaving a manly scent. Some products will say that they're overwhelmingly, they've got this strong, powerful, whatever they want to advertise. You don't need that. You don't need the heavy duty type of antibacterial soaps. I think many of those tend to be drying. And the worst thing you want to do for your skin is to dry skin that's already dry. I've already left you the message that I want you to be moisturizing the skin. I don't want you to be drying out your skin. And there are certain heavy duty soaps that do exactly that. They dry out your skin. So if, if I was gonna summarize your question, then I would, I would recommend that you use the cleansers as far as the nicest way to clean your skin and stay away from products that have fragrances. I know that this is probably heresy to say not to use a fragrance soap. You don't really need it. And it doesn't do add anything to cleaning your skin. So if you want to make your skin smell better, do it in a different way than using fragrance products and soaps.